Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about filming on your iPhone. This is a question I get all the time, especially when I started my YouTube channel last spring. Um, a lot of people came up to me and they said, oh, you have a YouTube channel, that's so cool. I would love to do something like that, but I can't afford the expensive like Canon camera or the lighting or the sound of the microphones or anything like that. And I would always say, well, do you have an iPhone or a smartphone? And they would pull out phones a heck of a lot nicer than the iPhone I have. This is the 5S, not anywhere near the 7 or 7S, I don't know what they have now. But I would tell them, you can film YouTube videos on your iPhone. And I would get, oh, they wouldn't be nearly as nice, they wouldn't be as good, I'm not gonna waste the time. So today I wanna talk to you guys about the proper way to get the best quality footage out of your iPhone or smartphone. Tip number one is to find a large open window or outside space where you are comfortable filming. Clearly, since you are using your smartphone, you need natural lighting to get the best shot on the phone. Also, very, very important, do not film this way. This is wrong. This is correct. This is what you want. You want it to be horizontal because that's how it will show up on the computer where you do your editing. So natural light where you're comfortable and horizontal. My next tip is to get a tripod or to build one up on like blocks or boxes if you're that crafty. I have one, I got it off of Walmart. I think it was Walmart. It was somewhere, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. I'll make it the screen, but it's one of those octopus tripods where it'll hold my smartphone, but it can also like bend, the legs move in different ways. It helps me, you know, kind of center my phone and get the angles I want. Do not film your sit down videos like this. Because if you are sitting here and talking, your arm is not going to hold still. If you're vlogging, that's a different story. But if you are just filming a sit down, talk to the camera video, you want your camera to stay solid and not move and be stationed. So get yourself a tripod. You will thank yourself later or be ghetto like I was in the beginning and literally stack up boxes and chairs and then just place your phone on it. And then it'll look super awkward because it doesn't, you know, angle forward or backwards. Get a tripod. My next tip is to turn off any background noise or whatever sounds you can turn off in your apartment. If your AC's on, your heater's on, your dishwasher's on, turn them off. If your neighbor or roommate's running their vacuum, wait for them to finish. You wanna have the best audio quality that you can. Since you are using the sound on your smart device, make sure that your surrounding is as quiet as possible so it picks up your voice as clear as it can. And my last tip and most important is make sure you have space on your phone before you start filming. Do not be that kid, that kid, who would sit down to film a video, get everything ready, makeup on, script written, um, it was sunny outside, naturalized, ready to go, you sit down, put your camera on your tripod, plus press record, plus press record and then two minutes into the video you're ready to go you've got your topic and the battery dies not bad no not battery dies oh my god <laughs> make sure your battery is charged too but two minutes into filming it says you know full no more storage space so you got to move your stuff over you got to move your photos over got to move your documents delete apps whatever you need to do you can film on your iphone just make sure you have the space to do it uh. But anyway, those are my tips for getting the best quality video footage out of your iPhone. And there really are good quality videos I have seen online filmed on an iPhone. You do not need special high-tech fancy equipment to start a YouTube channel or to film a video. Just follow these tips. I'm sure there are many more. If I missed one, you think it's important, list it down below. But if you want to try to make video, just try, it's going to take time, it's going to take a little bit of effort and experience to get used to sitting in front of a camera that doesn't talk back to you and have a conversation. So get out your iPhone, your smartphone, and give it a shot. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below of any tips I have missed, or leave me a link of something you have filmed on your iPhone. And if you are new here, please click that subscription button down below, it'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thanks again, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I don't have Snapchat, but it only lets you film this way.